Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new for 2010 Scorpion XO 1000 Touring Helmet. So this is the Scorpion XO 1000. It's the highest number in, in the Scorpion lineup. You know, you have your 400, you have your 700, 750 that are all kind of more sport oriented. This guy is a premium touring helmet. What does touring mean? Long distance riding. It's meant to be comfortable, aerodynamic, perform very well in multiple temperature ranges, multiple precipitations for long distance riding. Notice the vent conf configuration on the top of this guy. Everything's high on the head. This helmet's not meant to be worn in the crouch or tuck position. This helmet is meant to be worn in an upright position. Think Goldwing, think BMW GS, BMW ST. This is a helmet that's meant to be very aerodynamic, very stable at highway speeds for long distances. So I will say that I'm really impressed with this helmet. It's Snell 2005. I'm sure they'll be coming out with the Snell 2010 version for next year. But I will say for this current model, they've chocked full. Uh, they've chocked it full of a lot of different features. You're going to notice first out of the gates that you have ventilation all over the place. You have intakes here high on the head. Nick, or make sure you come in and check that out. You have underneath this rear wing an open and closed position um, exhaust port. So basically the air comes in. When you're riding, there's always a vacuum behind your head no matter how aerodynamic the helmet is. It's going to pull that exhaust out of the back of the helmet. It's going to keep you cool. So air is being forced in and being sucked out at the same time. They call that the Venturi effect. Moving down, you have a brow vent at the top that channels air to your forehead and around the back of your ears. You also have a chin vent down here. Two position, one goes to your cheeks, one's going to shoot it to the back of the face shield. On the side, you're going to notice that I have a lever here. What does the lever do? Oh, I believe my visor might be locked. There we go. So we have a locking visor mechanism, which I just showed you by accident. We have a Top Gun style retractable sun visor, which is nice. A lot of guys, high mileage situations. Shield's going to be up, shield's going to be down, they're going to be doing different things. There are multiple climates, they need to defog. Well, if you put that visor up, you know, if you don't have sunglasses, we don't, you know, you're not supposed to be riding with your eyes exposed. It's a big, big no-no. You can, in a pinch, put this visor down. You're also going to notice it's a medium oval head shape. It's intermediate oval, typically one of the more ergonomic fits. The only Scorpion helmet that's not intermediate oval is going to be the 400. It's going to be more round. It's more entry level. This is considered a high-end helmet for them. This is one of their more expensive helmets, right around that $300 mark. Notice also, behind this shield, I'm going to snap these two snaps. See this red element? That's their pump system. So you think back to the 80s, think about that brand of sneakers that had the pump system. So you put your foot in, you pump it up, gives you a custom fit based on air ballast that are inflating. They do that on the neck roll, they do it on the cheek pads. It's one single unit. It is removable, it is washable, but now you have a pump system so you can basically pump this helmet up to the desired comfort level and desired tightness around your face. If you want to take it off, before you take it off, there's a button to release valve here. I don't know if you could really pick that up on the speaker or on the microphone, but you release it, it deflates, and you pull this guy right off. So now we, we basically have the multi, what I call the triumvirate of Scorpion value, which are going to be the big three features that you see on most Scorpion helmets. You have the quick rip, removable liner, antimicrobial, keeps you cool, wicks sweat away, and is easily washable. You have your Everclear fog free shield. It's way too hot in here for me today to take this guy off and blow on it. The condensation wouldn't even condense. It's like 100 degrees in here, as so today you can see I'm a little warm. But then you also have the speed shift system which is these great pieces, an eighth of a turn clockwise, and your shield's gonna come off in about two seconds. So watch how easy this is. Put the shield, unlock it, put the shield in the up position, bang, comes off, come around this side, comes off, there's your shield. Comes on and off in like two seconds, very easy. And watch the beauty of the Scorpion shield, I love this shield. Two millimeters, you bend it completely backwards. This thing's tough as nails, polycarbonate, really works well, and the fog-free coating does a phenomenal job. Put this guy back on, you put it kind of in an open position, one snap, two snap, down, done. So right around 300 bucks, Very, it's a touring focus talent, the XO 1000, medium oval fit, one of the staples or one of the more medium price point touring helmets. Be sure to check out our four, our full premium touring helmet guide on RevZilla.com or RevZilla TV. If you have any questions about this guy, see us at RevZilla.com via email, 877-792-9455. Give us a shout. Let one of our gear experts walk you through this helmet and compare it to some of the other stuff in the range. As always, it's over 39 bucks. Ships are free. If you get the wrong size, you need to exchange it. Send it back to us. We'll ship you the first exchange for free as well. Other piece, Revzilla, Teamzilla Cash. It's our loyalty program. For every 100 bucks you spend, you have the ability to earn up to five bucks back in Teamzilla Cash. So you can get up to five bucks back or 5% back on any purchase over $100 with us. Automatically applies to your next order. Once again, this is the 2010 Scorpion XO 1000 Touring Helmet from Revzilla.com. Check out Revzilla.com slash Scorpion-Helmets. I'm Anthony. Thanks for watching today.